behalf of expertvillage.com, my name is Sean Graham, uh, sponsored by goturnkey.com. Okay, for our next point now, we need to decide about the, the hairstyle. Um, whatever the customer, customer has decided how he would like his hair to go. So we're going to say, for instance, that this customer wants a parting. Now, a parting should never be, begin higher than where the hairline uh, begins on the hairpiece. So you can see the hair through here. This is where we want to begin the parting. If we began the parting here, then what would happen is when we get the hairpiece back, we're going to have hair going over skin. And unfortunately, even though these hair pieces are good, they're not so good that um, it doesn't actually show uh, the, the hair going over the skin and tends to give the hair piece away. So my, my suggestion for that is always to have the parting to begin wherever the hairline begins. So that would be at this point. So the customer wants uh, a parting, so what I'm going to do is just put a dotted line here, going all the way back to about just the tip of the crown. Okay, so with the customer having a, a parting, he obviously is not going to have the hair going straight forward or going back. So, we, But we still need to give some indication into our wig maker on how, uh, what kind of style the customer is going to have. So what I'm going to do now is actually put the indication of the flow of the hair. So we want the hair to go around like this. Okay. Now the reason I'm putting a slight curve into this is that any good wig maker will actually put in each individual hair into the hair piece so it gradually starts to to go back. Same with this point of the parting. We don't want the hair being put into the, the base of the piece pointing this way. What we want is the hair to be slightly pointed this way in the hair piece. That then, when uh, the customer has a parting, the hair is going to flow backwards and not forwards, pushing itself onto, onto the face. Um, a real head of hair tends to, to act differently to, to a hairpiece, so you really do have to give the hairpiece direction in which way to go. So, as I say, giving the hair direction like so. So the hairpiece is going to sweep around like this. The hair will come over the forehead and sweep around. Okay.